Nigerian government continue to recruit Boko Haram and flying terrorists into the military. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. It's now obvious what is really happening in this contraction called Nigeria. Because for the military established by British government in Nigeria to say that they lack the power to expose those sponsoring Boko Haram. But at the same time, they have the power to recruit the same terrorists into the military without exposing who actually is their sponsor. This alone should tell you that Buhari government have been the ones sponsoring both the Boko Haram and both the Fulani terrorists. But what baffles me is why would United Nations Secretary General come to Nigeria and upload the Buhari government as in well done for recruiting Boko Haram and flying terrorists into the military. And at that same time, they refuse to ask this entity who calls himself Buhari. What the hell is he taking those military to? I am ashamed of, ashamed of our leaders who call themselves our leaders. Sometimes we have to reason, even with our so-called greed for money, sometimes we have to reason and ask ourselves questions. As Igbo people, this thing that is happening today, do we really deserve it? That the military, the so-called military, created by Muhammad Buhari, have been in our land, they killing our Muslim brothers and sisters, raping women. They murdered white people, Shama, whatever. And they dumped his body in the mob. They told the people that he is a non government. If the Nigerian military can be able to recruit Boko Haram into the military in the name of repented Boko Haram, in the name of repented flying terrorists, how come they have refused to mention the name of those sponsoring both the Boko Haram and flying terrorists in our land there? That they are doing everything possible to infiltrate our land with their homosexual kissmen. We have to say the things the way it is. I am not a coward. I am a royal prince. So I don't give a damn what you think. Man, that boy just wants. If really Buhari government has no hand in this, why are they slowing down and calling the name of those who are part of Boko Haram, those who established Boko Haram, those who created Boko Haram? Today we have different type of criminals in our land, terrorists in our land causing riot, causing problem, maiming and killing innocent people for no reason because we have a president who calls himself a president but he's nothing but a terrorist. In which country does that happen? That a man will put all his kinsmen in the head of affairs and for this they have the monopoly to destroy other Nigerians.
is quite surprising and quite appalling. But we must always voice out so that the world will hear us, not be too moved because we know Because if you look around, you find that that the world are not bears. Then the Yano Patania Nia. The so called world leaders. Can they explain to us what the so called military are still doing in our land? As they continue to more than innocent people. I will tell you one thing. Whenever we talk about freedom, they will tell you to go to National Assembly. Go to Senate. The question is this. Did they go to Senate when they want to establish Sharia law in Nigeria? Do Nigeria have Sharia law before? The answer is no. What Nigeria got before is civil law. Civil law. Guide them. Civil law. But today, they created Sharia law with the help of Obasanjo. Abangida. That was because Obasanjo allowed it to be. But he did. They have continued to frustrate innocent freedom fighters because they asked for their freedom. How can I live in a country where you created a Sharia law that is not supposed to be exist in the first person since that? People in the north cannot drink beer. They cannot say beer. But you will bring your cow through a forest even when you are warned. You will come to our land with AK-47 even when you are warned. And the so-called secret operatives are not doing anything because they are peers collaborating with these terrorists to cause mayhem in our land. And some governors who call themselves governors in our land who are behaving like pampas governors, they continue to fool themselves. Why the people continue to die? By the time they finish killing their people, let me see who they will rule. Some of you don't understand. Some of you don't understand. Some of you rant. You think ranting is the issue. Enough of this rubbish. Enough. If you did not go to National Assembly when you were creating your Sharia law, why should we go to National Assembly? Where you have your majority there so that you will say ne, 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 and destroy what we have worked for you think we are stupid we are not time shall come when that freedom you give it to us by force whether i like it or not british government should continue to play their card that they pretend they know how to play best but time shall come we are going to teach them how to play that card and they will never believe in their life that some people a better player than them. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.